All right, so this is going to be part two on how to configure Komodo Internet Security. Uh, the first part was obviously how to install Komodo Internet Security. So getting started, we're going to go ahead and double click on our Komodo Internet Security tray icon. You can either do that or you can go to the, the, to the desktop, Ugh, I'll talk eventually, and double click on that icon. So this is the main interface of Komodo. Now, what you can do now is go ahead and click the tasks button and it'll swing around and this will be a lot faster on a regular PC instead of a virtual PC. Um, it's an older computer too so I apologize for that. Then go ahead and click on the open advanced settings button right down here. After you've obviously clicked on the advanced tasks button. I shouldn't get ahead of myself here. I've done this a lot of times. All right, so once that opens up, you can go ahead and do, make some changes here. So what we're gonna do first is, this one's purely optional. This is right here where it says show messages from Komodo Message Center. That will just give you advertisements on the latest programs that they're offering. And some people like that. I have that enabled on most of my computers, but on other ones I turn it off. So if you want, you can turn it off or you can leave it on. For this sake, I'll leave it on. Um, and then you can go ahead and uncheck the show information messages when tasks are minimized or sent to background. That's just going to tell tell you that there's a um, they're switching the priority of the task, so the scan may go slower um, or the updating process may go slower because it's been uh, sent to the background. Basically, meaning that the CPU has been given been told to give that program a lower priority versus Word or Excel or Internet Explorer, whatever you be, may be using. Um, you can also uncheck play sound when alerts are shown. This is quite annoying when your speakers are turned way up and you get an alert. Yeah, it, it will uh, make you jump out of your chair. It's not a very pleasant sound and I kind of wish they'd really use a little more, um, a different sound, let's just say. So that's basically all we're gonna do with that window or this section. Now you can go ahead and click on security settings right over here and click on antivirus. Now on real time scanning, this should be checked where it says do not show antivirus alerts, quarantine threats. And then click on the scans tab if that is checked. Now click on full scan, click this little arrow, edit. And what that's going to do, it's going to bring up an advanced options menu where we can do different stuff um, such as automatically clean threats go ahead and check that and change it to quarantine I prefer quarantine um, some people f prefer to disinfect I just prefer this it's a foolproof way to know that the file is completely gone instead of trying to disinfect the file then you can go ahead after that and click on schedule and schedule it for whatever day you want I'm gonna not do it Sunday or Thursday I want to do mine on Saturday and let's do it at We'll do it at eight o'clock p. Um, or let's go nine. That works too. And then you can go ahead and tell the um, tell Komodo if you want it to run while plugged in versus on battery. And you can also tell Komodo to only run it when the computer is idle. So there's, those are some nice options down there. Once everything's done there, you can go ahead and click OK. Now click on Quick Scan and click Edit. And it'll bring up the same window, but for the Quick Scan now. So go ahead and click Options, auto, Automatically Clean Threats, Quarantine, Schedule, do every week, and do it Saturday. And we can say 10 p.m. on Saturday. And then you can also do the same settings right there. And I apologize, the full system scan, you want to do that once a month for Komodo. There's no need to do it once a week. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that, but we'll go ahead, click on schedule, and click on every month, and we'll do it on the first of every month at 9 p.m. Click OK, and that's good. Now it's changed. So that's all done there. So we can go ahead and click on Defense Plus right there, and then click on Behavior Blocker. Now this is the heart of Komodo. This is what makes the pr Komodo so powerful. This is called the Automatic Sandbox. Now what this does is takes any application that is unknown and puts it in an isolated environment. And you can choose 
how isolated that environment is. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to restrict it. That's, that's good for most users right there. Now, if you're a little more advanced, I would select untrusted. That's what I have mine set at. But for this, the sake of this test and this in the video, we're going to set it at restricted. Now, you can go ahead and click on the firewall setting right here and click on firewall settings. Now, this right here is Trust Connect. This is a VPN service offered by Komodo, and you have to pay for this. It's a great service if you're going to be using your computer in, let's say, coffee shops or other public Wi Fi spots. It prevents people from being able to access your information, such as user names, passwords, uh, bank numbers, any sensitive information. If you're using a VPN, they cannot get it. It encrypts all of your internet traffic. But, like I said, you have to pay for it. So, in this case, we're going to uncheck that so that we don't get alerts when we connect to an unsecured network. And that's basically it. That's all the configuration you need to do. Um, obviously, if you're more advanced, you'll know what these settings are, and you'll be able to configure it for your purpose right there. So, we can go ahead and click OK now. And now it's going to save all the settings that we've just changed. And that's it. So um, that's basically how you configure Komodo Internet Security. Let me just check my time here. OK. So we have a little extra time. All right. Um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you quick um, another feature, which is called the virtual kiosk. Now, what this is uh, is a fully virtualized environment where you can do whatever you want and not have to worry about getting infected. Now, it's, a, it's similar to using the sand fully virtualized browser, such as over here. If you click on that, it'll put it in a fully virtualized environment. And it will prevent anything, and I mean pretty much anything, from infecting your computer. And it also works vice versa. It prevents any malware that's already on your computer from being able to access certain information within the virtual kiosk. And there's even a touch keyboard that prevents key loggers from stealing passwords and stuff like that. So this is great for if you want to do some banking, online shopping from, let's say, unknown websites or known websites, but you know you don't know if your kids were on the computer and they were looking stuff up and if there's possible key loggers running in the background. However, if you because we switched the sandbox setting to restricted, you shouldn't have any key loggers. I've never known one to be able to get past that. So once this loads up, I will show you what that looks like in just a minute. Okay, so this is the Komodo kiosk. Now this is an isolated environment, like I was saying earlier, where you can do whatever you want. So if you click on the little kiosk button right down here, and click on Internet Explorer like I just did, what it'll do is it'll launch an Internet Explorer browser, but you can do whatever you want in it. So it's great, like I said, for banking and stuff like that. Um, I think that's about it for the kiosk. I know I'm missing something. and. So I'll just click exit right there, and that brings you right back to Windows. And it'll bring you right back to this interface right here. So I think that's about it for the configuration of it. So the next uh, video, or the video that I should say is already posted on YouTube, and um, yeah, on YouTube is just basically a sandbox demonstration and how powerful Komodo actually is and how well it can perform even without the antivirus enabled. So that's pretty amazing. Go ahead and watch that. You, that'll sell you in the program if this already hasn't. So, till next time, I'll talk to you guys later.